as beautiful as you are. Uh, look at uh, this person. She was just uh, 20 something years. She's already married with two children. Uh, you look at you. You are 30, you are 30 something years. You are still single. Why are you not married? Don't say that to people. Don't hurt people feeling with your mouth. Don't be the reason why someone will be sad. That lady know already that she is old enough to get married. But husband is not coming. She don't have power to go and pick any man to say, come and be my husband. And it goes a little something like... guys welcome back to my channel how are you doing my name is mary i'm a nigeria youtuber based in austria you are welcome to my channel guys if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video In today's video, I will be talking about the things you don't say to people who are waiting. I repeat again. The things you don't say to people who are waiting. These people who are waiting, I will be measuring it one after the other. Number one is couple. When a man and a woman are married, married couple, and they don't have any any child yet in their marriage, things you don't say to them. There are some people. When they see a couple, or let me see, let me use woman as an example. When they see a woman, a lady who is married, maybe this lady, the marriage is um, one year, just even one year, some people, they will start talking. One year, two years. When they see this lady, the next thing they will say, ah, you are not pregnant yet. Ah, you don't have baby yet. What are you waiting for? What are you, what you, uh, you are your husband, what are you people waiting for? Why you don't have, uh, have a baby yet? Things like that, it hurts. When you say it to, to, to that lady, she might smile and say, <laughs> we are still waiting on God. But when that lady will go home, it will start to cry. Don't be the reason why somebody weep. Don't be the reason why somebody will be depressed. Don't be the reason why somebody will be in sorrow. People are found doing that. When you see someone like, okay, let me, for, for my own, when they see maybe people like I said, a couple. Maybe they will see the both of them together. If maybe if it's a man that want to talk now, not a lady, maybe a man want to talk to his fellow man. He will not say, My brother, what are you still waiting for? You you have not scored yet. You have not scored your wife yet. What are you still waiting for? No, you don't have to. Because that man will be feeling bad in his mind. He might not react to it in your in your presence. But when he go home, he will start thinking. Because you don't know the reason why they don't have children yet. If you love them, like what I, Mary, can do in a situation like this. Let's, for instance, I have a friend who has been married for some time, 
no child. In the first year of the marriage, if I, no matter how close that friend is to me, I will not ask that friend, ah, you are not pregnant yet? What are you waiting for? No, I will not. Because I, I know that when two people are married, when a man and a woman are married, the next thing is to start having children. Since there is no child here yet, I should know that there is maybe something is wrong. And, and this having children is something is not by power. Anything you cannot do with your power, anything you don't have power over, don't stress it. And do not stress somebody for something they don't have power over. As I was saying, stop mocking people for things they don't have power over. There are conditions, there are circumstances in life that one don't have power over. If you can, if those couple that have been married for so many years that don't have children, if children are, are things they can go to market to buy, they would have gone there to buy. If children are things you can go to shop to purchase, they would have even though even if they don't have money, they will borrow money to go to that shop to purchase it. But these are children are gifts from God. God alone gives children. If they don't have it yet, do not stress them over it. Instead, be pray for them. Be the one to find solution to somebody's problem. Don't be the one to mock somebody for his problem, for his or her problem. There are things you don't say to people who are waiting. The second one is this. Maybe there, there is couple, uh, couple, they have a child, maybe they have one child. It might be a boy or a girl, just one. After some years, maybe that child is, is three years, four years, they don't have another one yet. When they see them, you will say, ah, my sister, ah, why, you don't have another child yet? What are you waiting for now? If it's a boy, they will not say, ah, give a junior sister now. Ah, give, when are you giving junior sister? What are you still waiting for? What, what are... You and your husband, what are, what are you people waiting for? Give Junior sister now. <laughs> Those people might be trying to have another, another child ever since they gave birth to their, that first one. And it's difficult for them. You saying that will bring back pain from their hearts. There are things you don't say to people who are waiting. Use your mind to know. Use, just know by yourself that maybe these people are looking for children. But it's difficult. That one has passed. The third one is when a lady, especially this one is very common in Africa, especially the country where I come from, Nigeria. When a lady is over 30 and she's not married yet, I'm not talking about parents now, I'm talking about people, just people, like maybe friends or anybody that don't know them, that don't know the lady. When you now see her, you will say, ah, my sister, you are getting old though. When are you getting married? Why are you not married? You are getting old, though, my dear. You don't say that to, to somebody. She don't have the power to just go outside and see any man that she wants and, and say the man, come and marry me. No. Any lady who is over 30, you should know, yeah, she wants to get married. But the husband is not coming forth. So you saying that, you are not saying it for her to, to remind her that she is 
old enough to get married. You are just mocking her. Things that so, no things that that you cannot do with your power. Things that you don't have power over. Do not ask somebody. Things that, that the person don't have power over. Because when you ask that lady that question, when are you getting married? Why are you not married? Uh, it's, it's, uh, all the men, are they not seeing you as beautiful as you are? Uh, look at uh, this person. She was just uh, 20, 20 years. She's already married with two children. Uh, you, look at you. You are 30, you are 30, 20 years. You are still single. Why are you not married? Don't say that to people. Don't hurt people feeling with your mouth. Don't be the reason why someone will be sad. That lady know already that she is old enough to get married. But husband is not coming. She don't have power to go and pick any man to say, come and be my husband. Everything is in the hand of God. Anything that God the local do. Okay, you can say that it's not God that will go and give the person husband. The person can go outside to look for husband. Yeah, this person is going outside. Or this person might even have a boyfriend. But if the if the boy don't say I want to marry marry you, do you expect her to force the man to marry her? No. Don't mock people for the condition they don't have power over. Things you don't say to people who are waiting. Don't add to people problem. Be a problem solver. Don't add to their problem that they already have. Of course, they think about it. Of course, they know that something is wrong. Of course, they want, they want to have what they're supposed to have. But it's not by power. Some people can be in situation, they just want to be happy. But, but, but they know that that situation is there. But, but they just want to take their mind out from that situation so that they can be happy. Don't drag them back to that situation by reminding them, by telling them, by mocking them, saying that, why, like the, for the woman, why the married woman, saying that, why, why why you don't have a child yet? Saying to the man, why you don't score your wife yet? Or say to a, a woman that have one child, why you don't want to give a junior sister? Or say to a lady that is old enough to get married, but, but not yet married. Say to the lady, why are you not married? No. Things that people cannot do. Don't mock them with it. And again, I just remember this because I live in Europe, abroad. This one concern. This one I want to say now concerns people that live in abroad. In abroad, you need documents to be legalized in any country that you are. But it's not by your power. You can try your best. You can only try your best. But you don't have power to give yourself documents. But do you know that people still mock people with it? And say that, ah, you have been here for I mean, how many years now? Why you don't have documents? Do you know what those people have gone through? Do you know what those people have gone through? Because you go, you get your own easy. Do you think it's easy for everyone? Ah, I I just came under six months. They gave me documents. You are be here now for three years, for four years. You don't have documents. Bravo. God choosing one. Bravo. Jesus assistant. Don't mock people for what they don't have power over. 
don't be the reason why people will be sad. Because remember, who have today, don't have tomorrow. Remember, <laughs> this video is to encourage us, please, we should not be asking questions. There are, we should not be asking people questions that are not necessary. And we should not be the reason to make anyone sad. That we should not be the reason to make anyone depressed. That we should know that in any, condi any condition, anything that we don't have power over, we should not use it to mock somebody. There is no one who don't want good thing for his or herself. Everyone want good thing for his or herself. But something that you cannot do with your power, wait on God, the author and the finisher of our faith. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. And if you are not following me on Instagram, follow me. My the name I use on my Instagram is Mary Made TV. Just the same name I'm using on YouTube. If you have any question you want to ask me, you can DM me and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.